Bellingcat's investigator uncovers special Russian kill team sabotage plots across Europe. Here's a summary of the article. Bellingcat's investigative journalist Christo Grozev has helped expose a covert Russian military intelligence unit called 29155, a special forces team carrying out sabotage and assassinations across Europe, as he told the insider. Grozev said they are behind high-profile attacks like the 2018 Novichuk poisoning of ex-spy Sergei Skripal in the UK. Bellingcat has obtained insider emails about Russia's failed plan to quickly assassinate President Zelensky and the people around him. The emails were sent by a Russian intel officer who was part of an advanced kill team deployed to Kyiv early in the full-scale invasion. Grozev said the unencrypted emails showed the Russians expected a one-week war in Ukraine and were disappointed when it dragged on. With Wagner Group founder Yevgeny Prigozhin now dead, Putin seemingly singled out 29,155 Commander General Andrei Avryanov as his successor, handling Russian security ties abroad. Grozev also called Putin critic and chess grandmaster Garry Kasparov to warn that a 29,155 agent had infiltrated Russian exile groups to get close to him. He believes exposing the unit's plots has disabled a generation of killers. But it also put Grozev on Russia's kill list, which he learned from an intelligence insider. Previously, Grozev's open source intelligence project Bellingcat extensively covered Russia's invasion of Ukraine namely regarding Russia's downing of the MH17 flight in 2014. This post received a score of 5,200, with an up-vote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The common view that we need to get rid of at this point is that we are merely helping Ukraine defend its independence. It stopped being just about them and we can't keep on thinking like that anymore. Not when Russians and their fucking propaganda is spasming non-stop about their crusade against the West. Their hybrid war against us cannot be underestimated. Russia's been fucking with Europe for at least 10 years now and we did nothing in response to assassinations and sabotage. It wasn't just about Ukraine to begin with. And the United States. They've deeply infiltrated and influenced the GOP. Major problem. It's crazy to me that no one talks about this. There are tons of people that talk about it, but who's going to stop them? They'd have to vote against their own party to boot these people and the GOP would rather stay compromised than give up a vote to the Dems. They keep getting elected again because their rabid base shrugs off every accusation by saying fake news or something similar. My right-wing dad quit his car club because the MAGA portion of his car club were getting weird about Russia and Ukraine? So says my mom. He wouldn't admit anything bad about his party. But I can tell he's feeling a little more disillusioned than he was when Trump first came on the scene. He wasn't a Trump supporter, though he defends him. But he figured it was just a blip. Now it's the entire party. Greater than Grozov said the unencrypted emails showed the Russians expected a one-week war in Ukraine and were disappointed when it dragged on. See if they had just publicly said seven days instead of three. Nobody would have been joking about it. Much more realistic. Three days of driving, one day of raping, one day pillaging, one day murdering, one day to cry in the UN they are the victims and 365 days a year of nightmare for Ukrainians. There's no way you can pillage in one day it's at least 72 hours. Russians are exceptionally skilled in the art of pillaging. There's a pretty funny story about a dude who stole a pair of airpods, and they like tracked him with it, and possibly sent artillery. I don't remember how it ends, but it would make sense if something something him as. Greater than 29,155 was created in 2007 or 2008 when Putin decided that the world is an enemy. If the world is an enemy, the problem is you. Yeah, it's the same as that saying. If you meet an asshole, they're an asshole. But if everyone you meet is an asshole, why are you are we the asshole? What if you're Jordan Klepper doing interviews at a MAGA rally? Every rule has an exception. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.